My name is Nick Audi. I play drums for Dear Zim, which uh, is a good friend of mine. And I do other things as well. I play drums for pretty much anything I can do, but that's my gig right now. Okay. So, who is your idol when it comes to drumming? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I have like three. Um, three top drummers would have to be. All right, um, Alex Rodriguez from Sayosin. Huge fan of him. I actually met him twice, talked to him about drums, and that was just a dream come true. Um, Aaron Gillespie of uh, Under Oath. Huge fan of Aaron. Um, and I would say Matt Grainer of August Burger. Definitely top three influences. But everyone, you know, I'm going to say Travis Barker, because he's everyone's favorite. But those would be my top four. Okay, when did you start playing the drums? Good question. I started playing when I was four. Um, my mom was um, caught some hands. And I did that all the way up until, I would say, eighth grade without a drum kit. Just played on couches and stuff. And then high school, I got my first drum kit. It was a piece of crap. And I just played in my basement. And then uh, one of my friends from high school played guitar. And we just jammed. And I've just been playing ever since then. Good. Yeah. So what made you decide you wanted to play drums? That's a good point. Um, I, I don't want to say, but I, I feel like it's the only thing I'm really, really good at. I mean, I, I'm probably good at other things. But drums just, I just like to hit stuff. And it just feels natural. Just, I've always felt like drums are my calling. Feels wrong not to play, so I guess maybe uh, divine intervention. <laughs> okay, so what are your views on kids being bullied? Kids being bullied, that's a good question. Um, I think it's stupid, there's no reason for people to be bullied, you know, everyone's unique in their own way. And I feel like if everyone was the same, putting that stereotype, then the world would be stupid and boring, you know? And the kids who actually get bullied are the kids who are different, and you know what? Those are the people who really, you know, are daring, are willing to do things, are willing to go out there and do their own thing. And for people to make fun of that is just not, not cool. It's, it's a little outrageous. It is, totally yeah. outrageous. I mean, I, I went to high school, everyone goes to high school at some point, and they're like, you know, the cliques with the, like, the bullies and the jocks. Yeah, the jocks and, the, and the, the cheerleaders. Exactly. And, yeah. I was actually, fortunate enough, I, I, hung, I hung on a wall. Me too. I was never associated with, like, this crew or this crew. I, I liked, you know, anyone. Anyway. And that's the way it should be. To be able to hang out with everybody oh. without being criticized yeah, totally. for what you're doing. Totally, yeah. totally agree. So, apart from Dear Zim, what are some of your other side projects? Um, right now, I'm doing a little thing like uh, Nick Audi Studio stuff, where I'm just taking uh, top 40 hip hop songs and adding like remixes of them, like putting like kind of more of my metal drumming and adding it to hip hop, making it more interesting. So, I'm doing that right now. I'm supposed to hit the studio in December, and I'm excited about that. I'm filming a video for that as well, a music video for a song that I haven't really decided yet, but. There should be a video coming out. But, I, I mean, other than Dear Zim and doing that, I just, you know, I plan anything I can. If someone says, hey, you want to do some studio work, I'll do it. But as of now, it's just pretty much those two. So, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, hopefully signed, living in California, playing Travis Um If that's not five years, then maybe ten years that's where it will be. But I know for a fact that somewhere in my future, I'm going to be playing Travis as a career, so... As a career, yeah. that's for sure. Okay, do you have any advice for people wanting to take up the drums? Oh, okay, yes. One, you have to have awesome parents, because my parents, I'm lucky enough, my mom's a musician. My dad's not, but he wishes he was, but um, it's really hard because it's a loud instrument, and you're practicing all the time, and you know, it's not like one of those things you can all oh, turn down. You just, you hit, and you can hear it in every room in your house. So you have to have good parents who are willing just to put up with that, but just stick with it, you know, like, Never think that like you know you're not good enough because I you know I never had any lessons in my life I just taught myself and like honestly like just keep at it and you'll you'll get there someday and there's always going to be someone better than you so don't get like discouraged. Right, you can always learn. It's, exactly. Yeah, it's a learning exactly. experience. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really good to learn something new. Like I try to learn new instruments every other day and it, it just it humbles you. It's good for you, I think, for your soul. <laughs> All right. So there's a few fun questions. Sure, sure. What is your favorite cuss word? Um, I shouldn't swear, but I swear like a sailor. I have to say the F word, because it just goes with everything. It just, but don't swear. Swearing's bad. But yes, the, the F word is unfortunately my favorite. Okay, so if you woke up the opposite sex, what would you do? Woke up with the opposite sex? No, if you woke up the opposite sex. As the opposite sex, what would I do? That's risky. Um, first of all, be like, what the hell happened last night? Um, I don't know. I don't really know if that's a PG-13 question. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one. I would probably uh, get my hair done and get my nails. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, that's different from what everybody else is saying. I, well, I, I can, I can, there's no 
obvious question of what's going on yeah. here that I could probably say, but I'm not going to go down that road. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It would be an interesting game. Yeah. Alright. If you could plan your funeral, what would it be like? Creepy. Alright, um, if I would plan my funeral, um, well, first of all, I mean, obviously people would be sad, but I would, I wouldn't want people to be sad. I, I want people to remember me for a fun, happy guy who just loved playing music. And I would, I would kind of, this is cheesy, but I would kind of want my funeral to be kind of like a rock show. Just people all happy, music in the background, you know, paying their respects, something like that. Something that's a little unformed. Okay, last question. Sure, sure. If the world was going to end tomorrow, what would you do today? Jeez, oh, pretty on the spot. If the world was going to end tomorrow, what would I do? Like, say if I woke up and had a full day to do, like, plan it out, like, okay, I'm going to end tomorrow, so yes. I have a whole day to do what mm -hmm. I want to do. Okay, um, well, I would probably play drums, no, 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 okay, I wouldn't play drums yet. I would wake up, I would have the best meal I've ever watched. So I'd have mashed potatoes, French toast, and, like, tacos and pizza, eat that. Then after that, I would probably go to the beach, because I love the beach, hang out there, go surfing. I've never been, but I want to, so I'll probably do that. After that, I would probably go hang out with all my friends, go skydiving, haven't done that yet, I don't want to do that, then have lunch, hang out with more of my friends, do ridiculous things, maybe try and go on a quick road trip somewhere really nice, and I know for a fact at the end of the day I want to be with my loved ones and my drum. I just play drums until it's all done. Okay. Awesome. So that's, that's, that's my plan.